A lot of people sometimes feel intimidated from using the animation tool at Webflow. And trust me, I know how you feel because I was in that same spot as well. You look at it, you're like, ah, what is all this? I don't want to use it. Well, in this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on a super basic quick animation that you can put on your website. And what's crazy is this simple animation can drastically improve the user experience for your next Webflow website. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Webflow Wednesdays. And today we're gonna to hop right into the tutorial. What do you say? Let's go. I went and took the liberty of creating a website that we can use for our animation. And it's just some random thing that I made up real quick. It's just, you know, something with the forest, right? California's on fire right now. So we gotta save the trees. And of course, if there's anyone that needs saving, who else are you gonna to go to besides The Rock, right? Dwayne Johnson. Anyways, so we have our um, <clears throat> items right here, and I went ahead and created this mock website. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create these animations. So the first thing we want to do is we want to highlight what is the thing that we want to animate. Now, it doesn't have to be every single thing. It could just be one thing. And so I will go ahead and click this container right here, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and click the bolt button. The bolt right here was the interactions or animations. And then we're gonna go to page trigger. Now on page trigger, we're gonna do page load. We're gonna do two different types of animations, a page load and then a page scroll, okay? And this is gonna be like kind of animate as the page is scrolling. So we're gonna go ahead and do page load and this will be the first animation. So this will be this section right here, which is the words and also the image that we have so that it has a nice animation when the items load, okay? So once we have that, and what's cool about the Webflow interactions is you can go ahead and uh, it's super easy. You can even turn off certain animations um, depending on what is being used as, remember how it's being used. Um, phone, tablet, whatever. So we're gonna do this one and we're gonna, we're gonna go to the action of when page starts loading. <clears throat> Click that and do start an animation. Now I, let me delete this, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and create one and we're gonna call this um, page load. What I usually try to do is I kind of do the item with all caps and then the animation um, just regular words that just helps in organizing it because eventually when you do these animations, you have so much animations going on. And so you want to make sure it's organized. Okay. So once we have the name, we'll go ahead and start. Now, before we click the plus button, we're going to look at what item we want to animate. And in this particular item, we want to animate the H1, which is this part right here. It's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and click the plus button. And we're going to do two things. We're going to do a move animation and then an opacity animation, okay, or action. So let's start with move, so at least we can see it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to, as you can see, it's highlighted now H1, which is move. We're going to go ahead and put that as the initial state. And the initial state, and what we're going to do is we're going to move it a little bit to the left. So that the animation is once it loads up, it moves to the right. And it also at the same time, it will fade in, which is really cool. Check this out. So the opacity, the move, we can do all these things with move, right? Um, you can, you know, move the words. What we're going to do, we're going to do a negative 20, okay? Negative 20 to kind of just put it towards the left a bit. We don't want it too much. But then we also don't want it too subtle, right? And then we're going to go ahead and click another plus button with the same item highlighted and we're going to move and we're just going to do it to zero pixels. And so here is your move animation. It goes from negative 20 to zero, right? So if you play it, there you go. We can make it a little faster. I personally probably want to make it faster. So go ahead and go to the second um, part of H1 and we'll make the duration maybe 0.3. So it's a little bit better, not too slow. There you go. Right now, we're going to add another animation, which is opacity. So we'll go ahead and add with the same element highlighted. We're going to do opacity. And what we're going to do, we're going to drag this right here 
at the same spot of the original one and that automatically makes it the initial state. We're gonna make the initial state zero opacity. We're gonna add another plus button and then we're gonna take this item and put it together with this. Why do we want to do that? Because we want it happening at the same time. We want the action happening together. So, and we already have it, opacity zero. We're gonna make it the same time as the other one. Now you can make it different. You can make it 0.5 where the opacity would be slower. I think it's just better if we make it together. Now check this out. If you play it, then you have that, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that with all of them, but it's gonna be kind of in order, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one right here. Same thing. We're gonna make it the initial state. So the initial state, as you can see, there's gonna be a lot of them, okay? It's all going to be up here. So this part right here is going to be a big group of things with that. And then we'll do move. And we're going to put this one after this one. So this one, as you can see, is 0, 0.0 because that's when that starts. And this one starts at 0.3 because remember, this animation takes 0.3 seconds. So then this one will be point. It will start at 0.3. It starts after that previous action. Now you can make it, you can be super exact where it's like, you know, it starts at with previous action with delay of like 0.2. Um, you could go with you could go crazy with this. We're just gonna make it basic right now and just have it do after previous action. And we're gonna do the same thing. It went from negative twenty to zero and point three, and then we're gonna do another uh, opacity as well. Zero, then opacity right here. And then check this out if you play it. See that right there? Now I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the rock and to the button and just hold on. Now that we went ahead and put our animation, let's check it out. And you see that, so the loading um, it's a little more seamless a nice animation. What I actually did is this button actually loads up and Mr. Rock himself um, loads to the left. So it's a little bit different. Not everything is loaded to the right. I kind of changed the directions here, but you can see the concept is still pretty much the same. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the scrolling animation. Now before we do that, just keep in mind, like I said, it's really simple to do the animation. Just remember, whenever you add the plus button on the animation, make sure you have the right element clicked, okay? Whatever you're going to animate. So now we're going to go ahead and do the scrolling animation so that this animation is as you're scrolling down, um, uh, the, 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 the stuff are going to like pop up. Okay. So as you're scrolling down, we're going to have these words that are going to kind of fade up and also, um, yeah, fade in and fade up and we'll have some different directions here and there. So what we're going to do right now is we'll go ahead and click this container instead of the whole thing. I'm not going to do it. Um, like on this one where I did it, um, every single text. I'll just do the whole container just to kind of save time. And you can actually do that instead of having to do every single text, you can just click the whole container and then go ahead and click the element trigger. Um, we're doing element trigger, not page trigger. And we're going to go ahead and do scroll into view. So click scroll into view. Um, and this kind of shows us that as, as something scrolls into view, it's going to start the animation. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click action when scrolled into view and we're going to start an animation. Um, now this one, I kind of already had it ready. Well, let's just do this, delete it. Okay. We'll start one and we're going to call this one page scroll. Now with the container selected, we'll go ahead and click the plus button and then click move. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to actually move it down. So we'll do the Y axis and click 20 pixels down and then add another one and we'll do 20 pixel uh, um we'll do oh not opacity not yet at least we're gonna add another one which we'll is move and then we're gonna make it the y-axis just zero and we're gonna make this three seconds as well now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add sort of a delay so that it's not showing up right when it goes into the bottom but you kind of scroll down a bit and then it'll animate in. So we're going to add delay of 
half a second and we're gonna see how that looks okay they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand oh i forgot to set initial st i was like why is that going down make sure that the first one you said as the initial state okay there you go there you go okay so now we're going to go ahead and click the same thing the container do opacity we're going to put this in the same spot as this one and automatically sets it as the initial state we'll make it zero add an opacity we're going to have it the same time as this one have it 100 duration 0.3 and still have a delay of 0.5 same as the other one and then you can see there you go right so uh, we'll see how this one looks so the browser is kind of big so it shows up right away but if i were to make it a little smaller like that okay and if we scroll down there you go you see that so now that we have that finished we're going to go ahead and add a scroll on this one right here now this one's going to be different it's going to be um the text going to move to the left and the image is going to move to the right so we're going to call this one um page scroll two now if it were the same animation as this one where it just scrolls up you could actually just click the same animation and it'll have the same animation as this but because we're doing a little bit different we have to create a new animation okay so we'll go ahead and do the div block and then we'll make it page scroll two what we're going to do with this one, we're going to make it go to the right, uh, from the right to the left. So, we'll do 20 here. And then another one here. Zero. And then opacity. Make it zero. And opacity here, 100. Now, we want to make the same thing, duration is 0.3 with a delay of 0.5 same thing here and then now what we want with this one is we're going to add another animation which is the image and this image so as this once this one um, fades in from the right to the left this one will fade in after that one okay and as you can see it's a, it's a lot of repetition but it's so easy right oh by the way i forgot make sure always forget make it the initial state okay so now that we have this one we're gonna make this go from left to right good So we're actually going to have this one separate. It can't be the same as the other one because we wanted to do it after, okay? So now we have the opacity 100, move 0, and there you go. And let's go ahead and make the duration 0.3 as well for this one. So it's a little faster. And by the way, you can do it however you want. If you want 0.5, that's fine. If we play it, this is how it looks like. And there you go. So check this out. Once we save it, we'll go ahead and view it. We'll make it down like this. You scroll down that goes up and as we scroll down this shows as well and then you can even do it the same thing what i'll do right now i'll do it real quick is i'll go ahead and click this one and then we'll go ahead and add the scroll into view or we'll make it the same animation i usually i would want a different um where the other thing scrolls more but i just don't have time right now so we'll go ahead and add that animation and see what we have and there you go well that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope that tutorial was a help to you if it was could you do me a favor and go ahead and click that like button and help bump the video up in the youtube algorithm and then also click the subscribe button we have a new webflow tutorial every single wednesday and new videos every week where we get just videos about a web design business how to be a web designer i know these videos will be a help to you especially if you are in this part of your journey where you're starting out and you feel like an outsider looking in i hope that you subscribe 
and be inspired and be helped by the videos that we're putting out. Until next time, my name is R.R. Abrat, and I'm the founder of Creative Abra Creative, and I love helping other people get started with their web design journey. Have a good day, and always remember, keep learning. Peace.